For this next section, we're going to use the Tidal Stream Atlas. And what I want to do, I'm going to come out of, uh, out of Portsmouth, across the Inner Swashway, and I'm going to cross the Eastern Solent over this way. And what I need to do is I need to know what the, what the tides are doing, the, the direction and the rate, because what I need to do is set a course of steer to get across there. So this is my tidal stream atlas I'm going to use. Uh, it's, for, it's actually for the Solent and adjacent waters, so there's quite a lot of detail in there. Uh, I must say it has uh, seen quite a lot of action and is falling apart, but uh, yeah, that's uh, the nature of uh, boat charts on boats. So again, this is just a... Uh, it's more of a graphical way of uh, showing what, what's actually happening. You've got the, the actual arrows are showing the direction of the tide for this given hour. And then the first number there, that's 07, actually means 0 0.7 knots of tide. That's neat rate. And then the 15 there means it's 1.5 uh, knots of tide. So we've got the, the neat rate, the spring rate and the direction. Also, what I need to look at is what where the information comes from for this chart. And this particular one is high water is at Portsmouth. So what I need to do is find out Portsmouth's high water and then I can work backwards or forwards uh, depending uh, which, which hours I'm going to be using. So once again, I've opened up my nautical almanac and I've found Portsmouth. And today's date is the 4th of July. So just looking there, uh, high water is at 13.53. That's UT time, remember. And the height of tide is 4.5 metres above chart data room. So this high water time is the actual time I'm going to use for uh, to jot down in my tidal stream atlas. And then I can work out whether I'm going to be before that or after that and take it from there. So what I've done, I've found the, the Eastern Solon page. So that's the area we're going to sail in. And I've also found the page that's representing high water from Portsmouth. Then what I've done, I've jotted down the time. I've actually wrote this in UT, but uh, to be honest, if I was actually sailing, I'd convert this straight into daylight saving uh, time. So I would convert it, but just to keep it simple at the moment, I've kept it in UT just uh, for everything to follow nice and neatly. So this is the high water time, 13.53. And again, I've took the half an hour before and half an hour after. So between these times, this is, uh, this is what's happening for these times. So we've got that hour. And then we turn over the page. I've added an hour. Added an hour onto the time. And also I've done the jigsaw again for them. And then I've done the same for hour two. And hour three, and so on. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm actually going to estimate the time that I'm going to be coming past out of that inner swashway, and I've kind of figured out that it'll be about twenty past three in the afternoon. So that's uh, so this is going to be the hour, the, the the hour that I'm going to use. So it's plus one. So what I can do now, I can turn the the, the page round. And have a good look at this information. So I'm going to be coming across the tide here. And what I could do is can get the Portland plotter and get uh, the angle of the tide there. And remember, we said that we're on spring tides, so it's going to be the second figure. So that's going to be two knots, two knots of tide there, two knots of tide there, 2.1, 2.4. So what I need to do is take an average across here. So an hour's sailing is going to kind of get me over to here. So I'm going to call it two knots. So I know the the rate, which is two knots, and I've also I also know the direction because I can get my Portland plotter on there and work out that bearing.